welcome back to the Kukli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so knife review for you today. This is the Brother F003. So recently I uh, I bought a couple of cheap Chinese knives off AliExpress to see as if they were good value for money or just or just absolute junk. So uh, this is a 440C stainless steel. So it's a high carbon uh, stainless steel, uh, or a, yeah, a, a stainless steel with a high carbon content, maybe would be uh, a better way of saying it. And uh, it's the tougher, more durable of the 440 series. If you get a knife, probably from China, that says 440 on it, it's probably going to be junk. But 440C is supposed to be quite a reasonable steel. And from what I've seen of the edge retention of this, it's uh, it does seem to be quite good. Uh, I've used it quite a bit. It came fairly sharp. It really could have done with a strop uh, before I started using it. But yeah, it, it, it cuts wood really quite well. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, go I'm going to start off with a couple of negatives. Firstly, the handle. I think it's a little bit too flat there. When I hold it in this grip, I feel like I want something a little bit more behind these two fingers. The two middle fingers, because it, yeah, it could do with a little bit of a belly. Uh, the sheath. It's okay. It's got that snap on it. In general, I don't really like snaps very much. Uh, well that comes open as you walk past vegetation I've had that happen a couple of times which isn't a serious problem because the retention without it is kind of okay I mean unless you're doing somersaults it's not likely to come out but it's always a bit of a risk with the snap on Yeah, it's, it's better, but <laughs> even with the snap-on, it comes out of the sheath quite easily when you pull it. So, yeah, I think the snap's a little bit pointless. May as well just have a little bit more leather on the sheath itself. It's, uh, yeah, it's got a welt. There's nothing really wrong with the stitching. There's nothing badly wrong with it, but yeah, I, I don't like this. The snap can come off entirely, uh, which leaves you that on the front of the knife. So, yeah, <laughs> you could actually, even if you don't lose your knife, you could actually maybe lose the snap. Okay, so, yeah, the, the blade geometry is uh, really nice. It, it really does a good job of, uh, of cutting, which is what it's for. It's, uh, I'll have a look at the specifications. I can't remember this stuff. Okay, so the blade is 99.3 millimeters. So that's, that's nearly four inches. Uh, the thickness of the blade or the width even is 23 millimeters. And uh, the thickness is quite a hefty four millimeters which makes it excellent for batony and uh, yeah it costs 28 dollars us which uh, is about 23 pounds so you're looking at round about the same price range of amora 2000 uh, which also is an, an excellent knife for the money uh, the Mora has got, uh, yeah, it's got a rat tail tang, so it's not going to be anywhere near as strong as this. It's more comfortable in the hand with the plastic rubberized grip. Uh, it's got a plastic sheath, but the dangler on the 4000 is leather, which means, which means there's less likelihood of it actually breaking, which is a problem I have with plastic sheaths but for the price that's something it's a little bit cheaper than the than the 2000 but a lot more durable 
and also yeah there's yeah the the rubber and the plastic uh yeah it's nicer looking nicer looking materials i'm getting quite a bit of smoke here uh that's good it's keeping the mosquitoes off me uh but hopefully it's not so much that you can't see me okay so i've used this so far for for, for fire making for food prep gutting fish uh it's done it's done really really quite well it's got that little uh lanyard hole with a kind of hammer stroke scraper thingy there which could have quite a lot of uses uh, for processing tinder things like that for cracking nuts and yeah it's uh, pretty decent I don't really like the idea of importing stuff from China though when uh, when I live in Scandinavia where they where they make excellent knives uh, but you know the difference in price is quite substantial and the quality so far seems to be pretty damn decent anyway guys thank you very much for watching uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully I'll see you all again next time for another Cookley Bushcraft video here in Lapland. Okay, bye for now.